So let's create a new project. And um, we'll go to the setup and patch tab and click DMX hardware. Now Luma DMX needs an interface to get the DMX signal out. This is possible over ArtNet or a DMX interface. For this test, I choose the Valamin USB DMX interface. Choose and then we'll choose the universe we want to work on and activate it on the right hand side. Now the interface sends DMX out. So you can either use your external interface or the mouse to then move these faders up and down. And when we open the DMX board in the tools, uh, you'll see that when you move a fader on the mixer, that this is displayed on the DMX board also. Now let's patch in a lighting fixture. Click add fixture and we'll see this list again of professional lights that come with Luma DMX. Um, so there's a big selection here, as you can see, we've really got a lot. But uh, you're also able with the uh, scan editor to create a new lighting fixture. So you'll see on the right here, um, you can fill in basic information, the manufacturer and the name um, is what we need to start. And then we'll click the uh, green plus button to add a few DMX channels for the fixture and click the first channel we'll go to the selection on the right here we can name the channel we'll call it color and select the channel type from the drop down list and we'll add dimmer and pan and tilt and we can also add presets to each channel um, uh, here we'll put the color back in. We can add presets using this button on the the fifth button along. So we'll add some presets to the color channel. So orange, and yellow. So these are all, as you can see, presets that are assigned to this one function of our scan editor. I'll just save this. Now let's open one that we've created earlier. So you can see that this has got a lot of presets. On the right are the basic details, as we showed you before. Um, you can change the fixture type and set the max and pan tilt. And then this will um, also work in the X3D visualizer now as well. So now we will add this fixture that we've just been working on into the into a DMX channel. And so we can just drag it over like you see. And now, as you can see at the bottom, these fixtures are visible in the mixer. You can see those blue highlighted bars below. And the easiest way to control these functions. Yeah, you can see them all there that we've got. So yeah, if we go across to the fixture control, then we can now uh, change settings for either all of the different fixtures that we've got or every second one. And then this allows you to make some changes, um, some visible changes really easily and simply to a whole lot of different fixtures. So you'll see here these buttons on the right um, that the mouse is on, they will um, ch make changes to those um, presets that allow, and that allow you to control those presets. And if you open the DMX board, you'll be able to see the DMX parameters change as we go through each of these different presets.